Good evening and thanks for choosing 23 ABC News at 11. I'm Amanda Gomez. And I'm Tip Callahan. It began with a brutal murder in Ridgecrest and ended with a deadly police chase and shootout. 23 ABC's Mark Christian talked with family members who are searching for answers tonight. And we want to warn you, some of the images you're about to see may be disturbing. Broken windows and blood scattered throughout. The Ridgecrest shooting spree that left a wake of destruction this morning began here at an apartment complex where one victim was shot and seriously injured and another was killed. I am seriously in shock right now. I have no idea, like, the words to even say to anybody right now. I, I want Brittany back. Don Meyer lives next to her brother Thaddeus Meyer, who was shot and seriously injured, while his girlfriend Brittany Mahini was killed by the suspect. Neighbors knew something was suspicious when they heard a car pull up in the driveway early this morning. A black car came back here with no lights on, kind of felt something was fishy. I heard two gunshots. The first gunshot I heard, I was like, I thought it was a firework or something. You can tell it was a shotgun. The second gun, because you heard the now, it all started here at this apartment on Atkins Street just after 5 this morning when neighbors say they heard shots ring out. They called 911. The suspect took off, and that's when the chase began. And he had murdered my sister-in-law. Meyer says what makes this more tragic was Matheny was pregnant. Keep me in your prayers. Keep him in your prayers, keep the family in the prayers, and Brittany's family in the prayers, you guys, please. Neighbors say the suspect, Sergio Munoz, stayed on and off at the apartment where the shooting took place and knew all the victims. I was wondering what was going through his head and why he had such a vendetta. It was, it's not right. In Ridgecrest, Mark Christian, 23 ABC. And according to Kern County Superior Court records, Sergio Munoz has a lengthy criminal past, including a recent arrest for being a felon in possession of ammunition. This as the community deals with the senseless violence. When the sun rose in the small desert community of Ridgecrest, daylight revealed a gruesome crime scene. Police responded to this home on Atkins Drive with obvious signs of brutal crime had taken place. Police found Brittany Maffini suffering from a fatal gunshot wound and another man who was also shot. Moments later, Ridgecrest police got a disturbing phone call. What he did is he called a, an officer of the Ridgecrest Police Department on his cell phone and said, that he uh, wanted to come over to the Ridgecrest Police Department and kill the officers, but they had too many guns and they had a package for them and uh, uh, was going to wreak havoc. On the other end, 39-year-old Sergio Munoz. Police say he threatened to kill officers and then led authorities on a wild chase down Highway 395. Police learned Munoz had taken two hostages and locked them in the trunk of his car. He turned from the driver's seat and started shooting into the trunk of the car where the two victims were and the deputies and the, the police officers and CHP then engaged the suspect and uh, disabled him. They were taken to the hospital and remain in critical condition. And 23 ABC News has learned Munoz has a lengthy criminal record involving weapon violations, including a recent arrest for being a felon in possession of ammunition. The suspect Sergio Munoz was killed by police after he opened fire on those hostages he had in the trunk of his car. The investigation into a motive for the shooting spree is ongoing tonight.